All right, guys, I want to welcome you guys to another episode of Bunk City Angles, man. I'm your host, Jeffrey Willis, and I am with you guys again tonight. Uh, obviously, it is Tuesday, and this is the Fishing Tip Tuesday. Tonight, we are talking about chatterbaits. Uh, but first and foremost, I like to always talk about safety, man. It's always important when you're out there just to be safe, uh, be aware of your surroundings. Um, know, 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 know what's going on around you, man, when you're out there, uh, whether you're on a, belt, on a boat, I'm sorry, or whether you're out on the, on a lake somewhere, uh, you want to be aware of what's around you just because, you know, it's nature. Um, and anytime you're in nature, man, anything is possible. So you got to keep that stuff in mind while you're out and while you're definitely having fun. Um, and if you get a chance to take somebody with you, definitely take somebody with you so that they can enjoy and understand that fishing is definitely, uh, is a form of therapeutic. Uh, it's, it's very relaxing. Uh, and also, and oftentimes allow you to think uh, outside of the box if you're paying attention to the small thing details are very 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 important all right but that's safety i like to start there just because that is the most important thing when you're out there on that lake okay or or, or bank fishing but jumping right in man uh tonight i'm gonna talk about the chatterbaits as you can tell i have i have three different colors here i have a black and blue i have a white one this one i have the tail dipped in trust juice um, and then I have more of a natural color um, and clear and very, very clear water. Um, this is the one I like throwing in very, very clear water. Uh, this is what I would throw in very stained water. Okay. And this is where, this is one I would throw when the water is not as dirty. And it's an all purpose one, man. These white ones just simply catch bass. But um, here on my home lake, black and blue has always been my go to. Um, but I catch just as amount. I, I catch just the same amount uh, when I'm throwing the white ones as well. Uh, but a couple things that I want to share with you guys real quick, man, is just the rod that I like throwing them on. Um, I have uh, two different kinds of rod that I throw them on. Um, I like to use a 7.2 uh, Pile Max 3D. Uh, it's a medium heavy action rod with a fast tip. Um, mainly, I use the fast tip just because I got that really good parabolic bend in it. Um, so I can set that hook from far away, but I got enough give uh, in that rod to, to, to not, you know, definitely tear that tear his mouth out. Um, I like to use a 641 gear ratio reel. This is the dial reel. Um, on my on my other rod, I would probably be throwing it on 50 pound test braid if I had to change it. Um, this one right here is definitely 15 pound. I would recommend 15 to 17 pound fluorocarbon if for for your choice of line. Um, and then again for the rod, I would probably go anywhere between seven foot uh, to seven three would be the longest I would go for a chatterbait rod. Um, and then those rods are very universal because those are the same kind of rods you probably would want to throw a finesse type bait on as well. So you're very accurate with those size rods as well. You get to you get to hit the key points that you want to hit while you're out on the lake or in or bank fishing, uh, which I think is important um, because you want to try and be accurate as possible while you're out there. Um, another thing that I'm gonna touch on real quick, man, is that uh, I throw a lot of Z-Mans. I throw a lot of the Z-Man chatterbaits. Um, I think the Z-Man chatterbaits are really good, but the most important thing I actually love about them is the hooks that they carry. Uh, they're very stocky hooks. They're not easy to be get bent. Um, so if you catch a big one and you're fighting with them back to the boat, you don't have to worry about that hook being all torn to pieces by the time you get back to the boat. And then you have to pull out your pile to try and bend that hook back into place. Um, that's one of the cool things I like about these E-Man. They're a little bit more expensive than the ones that they carry at Walmart, uh, but you better believe that I have them on deck um, at any given moment um, to be able to tie on if I need to. Um, so I do I do have a couple of the Walmart editions as well. Uh, they they simply work as well. Uh, only thing I don't like about these is that if you, if you mess around and hook in a good one, uh, you'll bend that hook up. Um, and if you can tell the difference in that hook, and then you can tell the difference in that hook. Uh, so that's what I think makes the difference in these two these two particular baits, man. Um, and I just choose the Z-Man just because, you know, it's more it's the, it's just more durable. Um, you can you can beat them up a little bit differently than you can beat up the ones from Walmart. But the one from Walmart just work just as fine. Um, so don't get carried away um, and buying them. Fish with the Walmart brand first, um, just so you can get a really good feel of the bait, and then you can kind of move around from there. So again, it's very stained water. You want to go black and blue. Um, if the water kind of semi uh, white will, will work fine. Um, I use white all the time. 
Um, and then in really, really, really clear water, you want to go with those more natural colors. Um, so this is the one that I would throw um, more so that would maybe imitate a bluegill in a brim or something to that sort. So that's, this is the body. This is the one I would probably throw for that. Uh, another rod that I would like to talk about, normally this rod right here has braid on it. Um, this one right here is a 7.3, uh, medium, medium fast action, medium heavy uh, fast action. Uh, this is normally my braid rod, but for whatever reason, I changed it up um, on last Sunday uh, when I was out on the lake and I threw it on fluorocarbon. I'm throwing it on a loose 7 to 1 gear ratio, so I was ripping it through a lot of hydrilla. And again, I'm only using 15 pound fluorocarbon. Um, I wasn't getting any bites with braids, so I kind of got away from the braid. Uh, so I went to a, a all white, and then I went in, I went to a black and blue. So those are the two rods that I was kind of switching in and out, uh, trying to get that bite that I was looking for. Um, this one I was throwing on a lose uh, seven seven one one gear ratio, and this is one of those Denali reels. Um, I absolutely love these reels. One thing I one thing I think is very very cool about these reels is that I got a lifetime warranty on them. Um, so if you break it for whatever reason, you can just take it back and they'll give you a brand new one without any issues, as long as you have your receipt as long as you have your receipt um so quick two quick things um uh, any of you bank fishermen out there man that you guys are 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 are, are, are bank fishing i just want to tell you guys uh you can throw this bank 20 25 30 yards on the bank and you can bring that thing back through it because a lot of the banks in florida uh normally have a lot of vegetation coming off of the bank so it's a lot of grass that's that's kind of near the edges of the banks um, so throw that chatterbait out there, man. It's pretty weedless for the most part. Um, and bring that thing back downside the bank, man, and, and watch and see. You're simply catch some fish. Uh, you're simply catch some fish. Um, another thing that I want to quickly mention real quick is the, the your trailers. I use a lot of gambler trailers. I use a lot of gambler trailers. So gambler is what I like to try and throw. Um, this is the gambler. Um, and then the simple back and blue trailer simple black and blue trailer so that would be the black and blue trailer uh i'm gonna show you guys a more of a natural color trailer actually this is this one is by kvd perfect plastic that's more of a natural look of a trailer that i would try that i would throw i would pair it with that natural color and then obviously just your just your gambler white one Anytime those shads are moving or anything like that, you know, I just got the regular gamma white, the gamma, the gamma white one. Uh, I think that one is called white lightning. Is actually what it's called. Um, and then, so if you're not throwing a, a swimmer, the paddle tails are really, really great. The difference between throwing a paddle tail and throwing a swimmer, a paddle tail stay above the water column quite a bit. Um, and anytime you're throwing a paddle tail, a paddle tail, I mean the actual swimmers. Uh, they dive a little bit deeper. So you get to fish it at the depth that you want to fish it. If you realize that those fish are running more shallower, uh, you may want to go with a paddle tail. And if you realize that you want to get a little bit deeper in the water column, then you may want to go with a swimmer because that's going to give you that type of depth. Um, I think that's very important. But you only can learn that uh, by throwing that bait out there and bringing that bait back to you and then allow the fish to kind of tell you exactly what it is that they want at that time. And then you kind of decide from there on what you want to put back into your tackle box and what you want to pull more out of. Um, that's kind of how I decipher that thing. Um, uh, summer times when it's hot, uh, you really want to fish it really, really, really slow. So I may jump from a 7-1 gear ratio rod uh, down to maybe um, a 6-2 to a 6-4. That way I can fish those baits are really slow. Now, anytime you're in, in between, you know, 70 to 78 to 80 degree water temperatures, uh, obviously, you know, you can put a little bit more action into that thing. That way you can get a little bit more movement. Those things are key. So when you're out there, pay attention to water clarity, pay attention to the water temperature, uh, because that's going to tell you exactly how to fish that bait on any particular day. Those things are very, very, very important. You always want to mimic the brim uh, that's around you, uh, shad uh, that's around you, and the purchase. Uh, that are around you so anytime you're in grassy areas and, and you got trees that are leaning over if you're bank fishing and something like that you know you're going to have some perches and some bluegills around so flip those type of colors in there that way you get those type of reactions um here at the end of this video man i'm gonna throw some clips in of me throwing some chatterbaits around caught some i caught some absolute toads uh and so i hope you guys enjoy uh i thank you guys for watching today that's that has been my uh fishing tip tuesday on chatterbaits just to give you guys a quick recap, uh, seven foot to a seven two rod, uh, six four 
to a 7-1 gear ratio reel. Uh, 15 pound fluorocarbon to 17 pound fluorocarbon, depending on where you're at. And then 50 pound braid, uh, depending on if you're in some heavy vegetation or not. Uh, that's very, very simple, guys. Uh, one thing about these chatterbaits too, man, they're very versatile. Um, so any beginner fisherman or anything like that, you can throw them on a spinner rod. If you're not really used to throwing them on a the bait caster, and if you're not really used to throwing a bait caster, get the spinner rod, pick it up, tie your chatterbait on, and go catch you some fish. In the meantime, though, I don't forget Mark City Angle on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. I went live today on Facebook as well, uh, so definitely jump in on next Tuesday uh, and check it out. Uh, I look forward to keep continuing to do this stuff with you guys. Next week, we're talking about frog fishing, uh, so I'm going to get a chance to bring out those big sticks. I'm going to bring out the popping frog, the walking frogs, and the uh, paddle toads. Uh, so those are the three frogs that I'll be talking about next weekend, so I look forward to seeing you guys there. In the meantime, though, y'all be blessed. really enjoyed those clips uh i look forward to doing many 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 more uh so again y'all stay tuned for next week